Hello and welcome back to day 25. We are still in day 25. I hope you understood how to create, how to describe data types and examples in your API specification. Today, now in this video, we'll understand the best practices while creating data types. And also we'll understand about a very important and confusing topic called as resource types. So, let us get started. Okay, so I'll go to my API. Um, so in our earlier lecture, we created this API, we created this types, and we described uh, get request to slash restaurants. Now let us describe post request to slash restaurants. Post, we need to post something in the request body, right? See, for get request, there is nothing in the request body. We didn't describe it. But for post request, we need to describe the body, request body. So let us start with that under post body and body type. What do we post actually? We'll be posting a restaurant object only, right? Restaurant as JSON. So <clears throat> already we have defined the type restaurant. So I'll give here restaurant. Then mm, I'll describe the responses. Mm, responses. If post is successful, I hope you remember 201 must be the status code. 201 stands for created, resource created successful. Then in the resource, in the response body, I want to return the newly created restaurant. So type is the newly created restaurant. And also in for 201, whenever you are sending 201, there should be a response header called as, um, there should be a response header called as location. Location is a standard HTTP header response header which contains the url of the newly created resource so i hope you remember i have discussed this in my lecture the introduction lecture i guess in day one or day two i was introducing you to rest if you miss that fundamentals go and refer to that video either in day one or day two there's a video where i discussed about http status codes and rest as well so please go and look at it so I assume that you remember that if post is successful, 201 is the status code. And in the response, there must be a header called as location. OK, so I'm describing location. Type is uh, string. Um, example I can give, something like um, HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon eight right one slash api slash restaurants slash maybe 100 if 100 is the restaurant id which got created newly fine now the important thing is when you are posting when you are adding a restaurant see this restaurant database table it has a restaurant id this restaurant ID, um, if you see, I have configured this to be automatically incremented. AI, auto increment is true. So restaurant ID will be automatically created by using increment strategy. So when we are actually creating a new restaurant, we don't need restaurant ID. So mostly the primary keys are generated on the server side. So when we are posting, whenever, whenever we want to add a restaurant, in the request body, we don't send restaurant ID. Let us see the restaurant data type. Oh, restaurant data type is containing restaurant ID. We don't need this while posting. And also, this restaurant contains links. Actually, links make sense when you are returning a response. But in request body, you don't have to send any links. 
So this links also should not be there in the request board. Oh, so that. means that we cannot use this restaurant data type in our post body. Oh. So we may have to define a new data type. Uh, I'll create a new data type called as restaurant request. See, this is some best practice to be followed. I will tell you some best practices now. Just listen carefully for some time. So, I'm going to create a new data type called as restaurant request. So new Raml API fragment file, data type, and um, give restaurant request. This contains a restaurant request data. Hmm. Now what all I need is only name and address. Okay, so I will define properties. And inside this, I pasted name and address. Okay. Now, the thing is, don't you think that I'm duplicating name and address again in restaurant also? It will be good if name and address can be inherited from restaurant request. Hmm. So what I can do is I can delete these two here in restaurant. And here I'll give type as exclamation include restaurant request. So I am saying that uh, the in restaurant raml i have to include restaurant request hmm? and then the additional properties whatever i want in restaurant i am configuring here so this is a restaurant request which contains name and address address contains all the other fields like house number street pin code etc and restaurant you can see now mm, restaurant uh, i think this is not yet updated I'll click on restaurant again. Sometimes this API console is not getting updated. Okay, so let us see. I'll save it again. Sometimes this is not getting updated. As usual, as I told you, there might be a issue with this. So I'll close this API console window and then I will go to perspective, reset perspective. Hopefully now I should see this, not yet. I'll click on this main RAML. Now I'll click on restaurant. Okay. So it is not getting updated. It might be an issue with any point studio console. Sometimes it will not get updated. But let us see in the main RAML. Um, what I will do is here in the main RAML, I will configure restaurant request also as a data type. Restaurant request include data types slash restaurant request. And for post body, I will specify the type as restaurant request. And in the response body, it should be restaurant only, the newly created restaurant. That is fine. So now let us see in the API console if it got updated. Mm, see, for get request, yeah, it is showing the restaurant ID name and everything. For post, for post request body, see, for post, the request body is containing only name and address. It is not containing IDs, etc. And in the response body, there is everything, restaurant ID, name, address, everything. Good. So that is what I wanted you to understand, how to define data types to avoid redundancy.
so normally what many people will do is they will not use this type as restaurant request they will duplicate this name and address which again makes your ramel redundant so normally for request whenever you are sending a request data and response data there might be some common fields so what you can do is as a best practice create your own data type for the request and then for response you can include that request by specifying the type whatever you specify in type the all the properties in the type will be included it is like inheritance okay so now you understood about the best practices fine similarly we defined post request we defined everything now we also defined uh, the restaurants slash restaurant id already how the responses looks like for 200 status code and 500 status code maybe i also need to describe 404 for restaurant with restaurant id 404 um i'll give the body type type will be error message only error message if you remember it contains the status and error message so even for 404 also i want the same data type fine i define this now coming to uh, menus i will leave as an exercise for put and delete um, let us go to menus the important thing right now get request i want to describe get request responses responses for 500 sorry first of all for 500 i'll define the body type as error message and for 200 that is important right now for 200 status code body oh now um i need to return the fields of the menu let us see the menu table here what all it contains it contains menu id menu name and restaurant id okay so don't you think that i need to create a data type called as menu see for menu again i need to describe post also so while adding a menu the data type will be different when you are returning a menu the data type is different so what i will do is i'll create a new data type data type i will select menu request so when you are adding a menu what all do you need whenever you are adding a menu <clears throat> this is menu table you need a menu and i want this menu to be automatically generated on the server side by database so when we are posting menu we don't need this menu id we need restaurant id and name anyways whenever you are adding a menu in the url you will be having slash restaurants slash restaurant id this restaurant id will be the uri parameter slash menu so restaurant id will be coming as uri parameter so in the body i just need to send menu name in this case only one field Maybe in a practical scenario, there might be other columns as well. We need to send rest all. So right now, what I will do is I'll create menu request. And here I will describe only one property. Property name is uh, uh, menu name. It's of type string. Fine. Then I'll create a menu data type. Menu. 
and here i will write type as exclamation include menu request then rest of the properties i want menu id in the response as well as a restaurant id so menu id it is of type integer and uh, restaurant id um, it's also of type integer fine so the menu name will be inherited from menu request but when you are returning menu whenever you are returning a menu um to which restaurant the menu belongs to i should be able to access give a request and retrieve the details about the restaurant so i need in the response i need a link hope you remember the hot use or hit use principle in earlier lecture right so links should contain two links i want one link to retrieve the restaurant okay and another link to retrieve the menu items one menu can have multiple menu items right i want a link for retrieving the menu items so in menu i need to use links okay links links as you know it is an array so i'll give here uh, links uh, type is array items mm, exclamation include link dot ram mm. so now let us see the api console how this menu looks like menu contains menu id menu name restaurant id links and links contains links is an array each link will contain link name and href good so we defined this now coming to the main ramp coming to example i want to give an example of menu how it looks like new api fragment i will select example i will give menu example i want to give an example of how a menu will look like i have an example already so i'll copy paste um Hmm. So this is the one. Uh, I'll make this name in double quotes because this name is a string. Hmm. So you can see the two links. Restaurant is a link. This is the UI example. It will retrieve the restaurant with ID one and uh, menu items. This is a link. So menu contains these things now i'll go to menu and i will try to link this example so what i can do is i can write here example um, exclamation include um, dot dot slash example slash menu example good now let us see on the right is it updated how a menu looks like um yes good so we're good till now now oh there's an error here what is it saying menu name not found okay actually in menu request i gave the name as menu name but in this example it is name so i'll make it menu name hmm. good now everything is fine the example also is being shown clearly hmm. Now going to the main specification for menus, response body type, I'll give us, oh, I have to first of all define menu in the types, is it? Okay, menu, 
uh, exclamation include data type slash menu and also i want to include menu request okay so now in the get request to slash menus the response is of type uh, array items is of type menu so when a request comes to slash restaurant slash restaurant id slash menus we will return array of menu uh, 500 status code also is described now coming to post if i want to add a menu the post body uh, type is menu request and uh, response types right post body is over but responses if post is successful 201 Mm, body response body will be what menu right menu and mm, headers actually when 201 is a success status code there should be a header called as location so whatever here headers i'll copy paste location the indentation is important fine unresolved reference Okay, sometimes it is a problem with ID. I just entered a space and saved it back. Fine. So we defined it. Like that, we can define for other URIs as well. But there is some problem here. See, uh, let us try to compare the post request for restaurant as well as menu. Let us identify some similarities. Let me minimize this get. It's not getting minimized. It's okay. Yeah. So let us see the post to slash restaurant. Slash restaurants is a collection resource. Slash menus also is a collection resource. I wanted to compare post description of post. Looks like similar. Only difference is in post body type, it is restaurant request here. Here for post body type, it is menu request. Hmm. And while describing the responses, we are describing the header same and also body. See, body is menu here and here it is restaurant. Except the types the request body type and response body type everything looks same right hmm. there is some possibility of improvement so when describing the post for all collection resources i identified some similarities only type value is changing body request body type response body type is changing Rest all looks same. Normally, whenever we are actually hmm, having a lot of common content with few dynamic types, what we do is we create templates, right? A template contains a lot of common things and few parts where we might need to customize dynamic. So yes, we can create something similar to a template in RAML. We call that as a resource type definition. 
So for all collections, there are two types of resources, as I told you, right? Collection resources, collection item resources. Slash restaurants is a collection resource. Slash restaurant slash restaurant ID. Only one restaurant. It's a collection item resource. So I identified some similarities for resource types. For all collections, there's some common pattern. So I can create a template for defining all collections. So we can define something called as resource types. So you'll understand once I tell you, I'll create a new folder. Mm, resource types. Okay. Now I want to create a template for a collection resource type. So what I'll do is I'll create a new API fragment file mm, resource type. I'm creating a resource type definition for collection collection resource type okay so a file is created here you can see in this file the first line tells what type of fragment is it it contains resource type definition basically uh, we need to write a template here with some placeholders in raml there are syntaxes to define placeholders i will tell you so i have an example already here i'll copy paste that and i will tell you um so i copy pasted i will explain you now so i'll close all and open this only yeah so you can say i'm describing for get and post whenever for any collection resource if you are describing get this is how a template is defined hmm? so what here the description says okay, after get i gave a question mark question mark means as you know optional you'll understand the meaning in a little bit i wrote question mark just continue so I am describing get in the template. In the template, here it is saying get all. And here is a template. Basically. Here is a placeholder in the template. So actually, this is a this file is a, like a template file. We'll be applying this template to some URI. Assume that I'll be applying this template to slash restaurants slash restaurants so what will become the resource path restaurants pipe to singularize this is a syntax this is keyword used in raml restaurants given as input to singularize it will become restaurant right so um the description becomes get all restaurant. This will be evaluated to restaurant. And we're adding S. Explain them also is same. Okay. Now, here in the responses for 200, get request to slash restaurants. What will be the response body? It is area of restaurant, right? Now, see the template here. If I apply this template to slash restaurants, this will become resource path name will become restaurants. If I put a single rise, it will become restaurant. Okay. Restaurant and actually that will be small. Suppose if the URL is like this slash restaurants. If I make it a singular, this L will be removed. And I want first letter to be capitalized, R to be capitalized. So I so I am using something called as upper camel case. Upper camel case means first letter will be capitalized. So it will become restaurant with capital R. So we are specifying here items will become restaurant here. Suppose if I apply this template to slash to menus. Resource path name is menus. Singularize will become menu. Upper camel case means 
first letter capital so this value will become menu right so like that we'll be applying this templates here when we are writing a resource type definition we write placeholders like this these are some standard placeholders mostly these are sufficient okay and for 500 you can see i'm pointing to data type slash error message i'm including and here i'm giving status and message that's fine and for post request here if we are applying this to post slash restaurants this will become what restaurants single race restaurant add a new restaurant suppose if i am applying to menus this will become menus single race it will become add a new menu similarly the body here post request body what is that resource path name restaurants why put a single race restaurant upper camel case capital r and after that i am adding restaurant request request so that means it will point to restaurant request i just added here and in the response body i'm just using the same value it will become restaurant is it so let us see it is interesting if i apply it you'll understand okay so now in the main raml i have to define a section called as resource type the order is not important traits can be upper or below resource types i will write collection uh, exclamation include um resource type slash collection resource type mm. now i will say slash restaurants is slash restaurants type is collection okay once i specify restaurants type is collection that means this template will be applied hmm? so here it is specifying cannot merge the payload so here i don't need to actually describe this status code even i don't need to describe this status code for post also i don't need this i will delete only extra thing pagination this traits are applied here that is not defined in the template i could define this also in the template that's okay and now you can see there is nothing much for get and post i said restaurants is of type collection so the template will get applied let us see here in the get request Hmm. Do you see? Get all restaurants. Um. Get all restaurants. I'll just type SSS and save it. Okay. So again, if I click, what is it saying? Get all restaurants. This is the description in the display name. It is get all restaurants. Get all restaurants. Right. And what is the response body you can see for 200 body is this uh, restaurant right array of restaurant it got applied and um, for 500 error message of, of course right fine now for post body let us see for post For post, add a new. We apply it to slash restaurants, right? Resource path name was restaurants. Single race restaurant. Add a new restaurant. Uh, I can just write something. Let us see. 
see www that means it is getting updated okay fine add a new restaurant the template is getting applied and in the body type what is the body type uh, see restaurant request see this template it got evaluated to restaurant and suffixed with request so you can see the restaurant request and then response for 201 response body you can see the type is only restaurant so like that we applied the template and one more thing is um by just specifying that slash restaurants is of type collection we got the template applied suppose for restaurants i don't want to describe post i'll delete it now let us see if for slash restaurants is there post no only get actually whenever i am applying the template in the template i have made get question mark post also question mark that means i am saying even though i apply a template they are optional if you want this description of post to be applied what all you have to do is just write here post colon that tells okay you want to describe post and whatever is in that resource type definition the template will be applied see now i gave post as well just i wrote and uh, it is described so you understood that when you are defining a resource type definition you give question marks so while applying it if you just write the method name the template will get applied good now even for menu also right now i can just uh, specify slash menus type also is collection that's all i don't need to describe the responses i will just delete it hmm? anyone for post i don't need to describe all this delete it see very simple right i just defined a resource type definition and i'm saying that this slash menus is of type collection good so now let us see the documentation uh, for slash menus here it is mm. post let us see oh post body is menu request the template got applied and for 201 500 response ports are actually defined automatically right everything is coming from the resource type definition so we created a resource type for all collections and see slash restaurant slash restaurant id is a collection item right for all collection items again there might be some similarities mm. for slash restaurants slash restaurant id we are describing get put and delete and maybe slash menu slash menu id we are describing get and delete but no put here right so maybe again uh, for all collection item resources there might be a common template we want a template to be defined so already i have a template defined uh, member.raml i'll copy paste and i will explain you it's very interesting say applied i copy paste member.raml see here also it's a resource type definition i am describing get delete whatever i felt as common like put i just i am describing here you can see for example um, delete if i apply this to slash restaurants slash restaurant id slash restaurants slash id resource path name will be restaurants only if i put a single race, it will become delete a specific restaurant and display name is delete a or n this will become restaurant by this will become restaurant suffixed with id good and in the body again here i am using a template this is a restaurant with id is deleted 
restaurant with id is not found so like that we defined a template for members i in the in the member.raml resource type right, i am defining i am describing get delete all are having question marks get delete put hmm? so let us see i'll try to apply this to the main raml Mm, so here in resource types, I'll go here and write member exclamation include resource type slash member dot raml. Now slash restaurants slash restaurant ID. I have to specify here type is just a member. I don't need to describe these responses. See for member get request 200, 404, 500 are already defined in the template. They'll get applied. So I don't need to describe. I just need to specify what all methods I want to describe here. I'm just specifying put and delete. I'm not using, uh, no, I need get as well. Get. So for these methods, get, put, and delete defined in this template, the template will be applied and these templates, these placeholders will be evaluated. Good, right? So actually, mostly I eliminated the description, right? I'm just specifying the type here, okay? And here for menu slash menu id also i can specify here it is of type uh, type member and i want to only apply get and delete no put see let us see the description um, slash menus slash menu id get and delete are there let me click on delete See, for delete request to menu ID, this is the description. And here are the status codes 200. The template got applied for 404. Menu with ID is not found. 500. There is some server side error. Right? Very good, right? So our RAML became very simple after applying the resource types. Very good. So in this lecture, we understood how to actually create resource type and apply it to specification. So we are done until this point. We'll continue the rest of things in our next lecture. See you next lecture.